Hello. We up. Um, actually wasn't going to stream tonight, but I was like, hmm, I got an hour before I got to go to bed. So I might as well. Um, yeah, I was really freaking tired today at work. I say I'm a little tired. Um, I got home. I was like super tired. I was like, oh my gosh, I don't know if I'm going to stream. But then it was like already too late to the point where I was like, do I want to be like, oh, I can't stream tonight when like it was already obvious or what did I want to like throw a surprise in there? Make it two. Exactly. Um, one of these nights, though, I will have to not stream, which it's crazy. I'm thinking I'm already getting back into that phase of streaming. As it says stream earlier, you freak. Hey, it was either this or no stream. Um. Yeah. I still have to cut my hair tonight, too. I don't have to, but I want to, because I actually got a kind of a busy week ahead. Hey, listen. And I, I couldn't, I kind of doubted myself again because I was like, what am I even going to play? And then I forgot that I have this game and I've actually been enjoying this game. So I'm just going to play this. Am I dressed up as Halloween? I have no idea. Sexy fireman. Um, well, only one of those is correct. Actually, neither of them, because I'm te I'm technically not a firefighter. I'm just a person dude i hate explaining my job because it's not as simple as like firefighting and when it comes to like when it comes to like stuff that you have to like generalize like occupation or career or like forms and stuff i like they go always confused because they're like oh so you're like a like a, an equipment rental service i'm like yes they're like oh but like you work for forest service i'm like yes I'm like so you're a firefighter i'm like no <laughs> I can't just say like equipment rental because then they think I work for like cat or like like an actual like equipment rental company like no I'm a firefighter equipment specialist yeah it, it is Halloween I don't know I don't have a costume for Halloween I don't know if I will need a costume because honestly I'm pretty content I don't think I dressed up last year I might have the Jesus costume, but... No, I did Crawlmaller last year. What am I talking about? I don't know what I'm going to do this year. Forest Ranger? No. I do not want to be a Forest Ranger. Um. <laughs> I live in the woods. No, D, it's, it's always confusing, because I'm like, oh, I rent out fire equipment, but they always think I'm talking about, like, city firefighting. Like, no, wildland firefighting. Like, oh, so you give them, like, the chainsaws. I'm like, no. <laughs> That's the government. I just give them... I don't even work... I don't even work for the firefighters. I give it to the firefighting logistics teams. Like, all the people who do, like, the cartography, the maps, the communications, the logistics. We, we set up equipment for them. We don't even set up equipment for the firefighters. That's all, like, government and shit and, like, their own companies. That's a really confusing job to explain. And I can't just say, like, oh, tents. Every time I say tents, they think, like, little, like, foldable tents. I'm like, no, giant industri like, industrial fireproof tents. 
that are like fucking people don't realize how giant tents are when you think of tent people call them yurts i don't know why they're not they're nothing close to a yurt not even similar but people call them yurts like the firefighters always call them yurts I'm like no it's not a yurt it's just a fucking tent The infrastructure, kind of, pretty much. It's weird, though, because, like, there's other companies that set up their own equipment. Wildland firefighting is a very divided... A very... It's a very... Very populated... Um, field. But it's very divided. Because, like, we'll see competitors that will set up tents, like, right next to ours. So it's like... We're setting up, like, most of the infrastructure. Like, it's, we're basically setting up the temporary living situations for logistics teams and firefighters and logistics do not always get along because you know one's actually firefighting the others sit in a nice ac tent all day but whatever job cultures gotta complain about something thank you rhino i appreciate that i uh definitely the content the content is definitely um Maybe improving. I did not want to be here. What am I doing? Also, audio is too loud again. What is going on? Fucking flies, dude. I thought I got rid of them. Every time I... I put neem oil on my plants, the flies get pissed. Fuck off! God. Oh, you streamed Rhino? Did we do this one already? I think we did. Oh yeah, we got oh yeah, we got artifacts. Um let's just should we just go to the next area then? No, I feel that. Actually I li I live that half of the year. Half of the year I can't stream because of work, and the half of the year I, I can't work, so I stream. Gotta love living in a uh, in a place where you can experience all four seasons very vividly. It gets 120 degrees in the summer and negative 10 in the winter. And it's the driest place on earth. Oh, I doubt that. You're definitely you're definitely not boring. <laughs> oh my god. I'm going to set my room on fire. Did I at least get it? I actually did. That's amazing. It's 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 always one fucking gnat in my room that has to cause so much of a nuisance. It's like, dude, get a life. No. Oh my god, does this guy always attack this fast? Morningstar? Oh, hell yeah. I am not doing anything for damage. Attack speed. Range crit bonus. Ooh. All these are all good. I 
don't even know what to build for this guy. So he has frost damage. Frost chance, attack speed. Okay. Your chance, range, attack speed. Ooh. Anyways, how, how's everyone doing today? I had a very chill day. It was actually extremely chill and kind of enjoyable. Question mark? I guess I should say the work I was doing was enjoyable. Work's still kind of weird lately. There's been a weird, like, I don't know. It's not... It's... it's my job feels like a... A dysfunctional family. Um, or a functionally dysfunctional family. I don't even know. It's a very... A, sometimes it can be a little toxic, and there can be a little bit of feuds and stuff between everyone. I try to stay in my own lane, but, like, you know, sometimes bosses will bicker with each other, managers will be managers, and just like, okay. So it's, it's honestly funny until you get dragged into it, but, like, it's just, it's really awkward trying to just, like, do my own work while everyone's just, like, you know, arguing. There wasn't any of that today, luckily, but there's been kind of, like, a little bit of, like, tension. There's a lot of tension. So it just, I just feel so weird. Like, I know, oh, I'm just enjoying myself with my little desk over here. And, you know, I can't tell if someone wants to, like, murder me. <laughs> but, um, no, it was actually very enjoyable today. I just, I got a lot of stuff done. I did a lot of cool graphics. I'll like show one of my managers. I'll finish a graphic. I'll show it to one of my managers. He would just like look at it. He's like, awesome, perfect, love it. I'm like, cool, good enough for me. And it's fine if, if, I, if I messed up because then I just get more work. You can only design something so many times before it's perfected. until it has to be changed again. That's the secret that most business owners don't want you to know, is that if you pace yourself, you'll still have work. That's why there's this thing called efficiency. I'm not getting into this shit, but you know what I mean. But yeah, it was, it was a very enjoyable day today. Block strength. Physical or magic damage. Oh, I actually didn't want that. But I'll put it in the bucket. Did this guy always attack this fast? I feel like he attacked way slower. Oh! Oh, I see. Okay, I'm, I'm just really stupid. Range crit bonus. I feel like crit would go good on this guy, but I'm not really seeing a lot of crit. The Morningstar is doing crit, but... Your work has to be done as quickly as possible. Jeez. Well, I guess he did say that that's most of your time. Um, if you don't mind me asking, what do you do for, like, like work? No complaining or attitude? There you go. That's, that's the way. I love, like, working and people just don't, like, complain. Makes life really enjoyable. That sounds like I'm complaining now, but you know what I mean? Like, it's just... I love just, like, working and just not having any negative energy. Like, cool. Make it enjoyable. 
Trailero? What's that? I don't. I don't. My. I don't speak Spanish. I'm sorry. Oh, truck driver. Nice. I think I didn't hear you. Or I, I saw you mention something about a truck. That's cool. Um, I know quite a few. Actually, my eldest brother is a, he's a CDL truck driver. Um, I know a couple truck drivers. That's a cool job. I can never do something like that because I don't know. I just. I, w I wouldn't. I know it's like it's not as bad. It's definitely not as bad as it seems, but I just wouldn't want to be responsible for something like super huge like that. That's still that's still a cool uh, cool job. Wait, so do you like? Are you like on the road all the time? I guess you have to be if that's like you know. That's one thing about truck driving. I wouldn't want to be able to. Wouldn't want to do either. Is like not being home. I like being home. Oh, that's electric, so probably these. Crit bonus. Base crit bonus, movement speed. Um. I'm actually getting smoked right now. Base block strength. 35% health. Multi-strike, attack speed, ooh, these are both good. Probably this one. Multi-strike is kind of going crazy. Frost damage, damage, ice, crit chance. Yeah, definitely that. You drive for like six years? Okay. That's good that you're local, but still, that's that's crazy. Um we actually like we do CDL, so we like technically we have we have like CDL truck drivers, but they drive like personal vehicles and they tow um, like gooseneck trailers. Um. Oh my God. I don't really want to do fire unless that. I already have ice. 50% burn chance. Should I try it? Mm, I see. So you still have to do like CDL to get like certified. I mean, that makes good money. Our truck drivers make extremely good money to the point where all everyone wants, all everyone wants to do now is just drive. Because you get paid mileage. Oh, you drove a hotshot? That's cool. When I think of hotshot, I think of firefighters. Unless that's what you're talking about. I don't know. I'm not very familiar with the towing world.
I've actually been thinking about, like, I'm hoping in the middle of this winter I can maybe look at just getting, like, a really cheap truck. Because I love my car, but... I don't know, I love my car, and I actually don't mind driving re rear-wheel drive in the snow, but I just don't... I don't want to do it with, like, other people. Because, like, I don't want to drive on the road with other people, because other people are so fucking stupid in the snow. At least just where I live. Like, because there's, there's so many new people that move to where I live that, like, never experienced, like, snow before. That some, I've talked to so many people that just moved to Central Oregon, and they, like, didn't know they had to get different tires for the, win for the winter. A Ram? Ooh, a Cummins diesel? Okay. Dude, if I had to pick a truck, it'd be it'd be a Cummins. That's cool though. I I do want a Toyota, but especially where I live, they're like almost marked up like more than half what they're worth. Because Toyota, four wheel drive, that's all that everyone drives. If I was lucky, yeah. Um but unfortunately, this day and age, trucks are extremely expensive. But once in a while, I see a good deal. It's just I have to, like, jump on it. That's the only thing. And I hate jumping on, like, a car because you don't know what you're getting. But someone else is just going to buy it because they have fucking money to throw at Marketplace. <laughs> um, I would love a Tacoma, though. My, one, my favorite truck is our Tundras. I, I love first-gen Tundras, even with their borderline single-digit gas mileage. I, I love Tundras, but oh my god, they're so expensive. Hell yeah, that's dope. Especially when you get to build it for, like, towing, that's cool. I know a couple guys that, um, they buy, like, a new truck every year, and they do, like, the same kit on every single truck. Transmission cooler, um, bags, or different bags, rims, um, they get the, uh, what's that called? The head, the headache rack? But they get, like, the rear, like, window guard. The front guard, obviously. There's a bunch of shit. It's the same, it's the same thing on each truck. It's funny. Oh, yeah, new Tundras are way too big. They're, they're too, like, square. They look like, they look like F-150s. I don't like it. Se second gen Tundras are awesome. But they're expensive. That's why I like first gens. I feel like I feel like that era of Toyotas were the best. Yeah, that's that's good. I like that. Surprisingly, we haven't had any pavement princess trucks show up yet. Because sometimes we'll get like people that like are friends of friends or something that'll tow once in a while. Um, every single truck at my company though is a Ford. Everyone drives a Ford F-350. It's a Ford F-350, and they're the same color. It's either white or silver. White or silver. There's like... One day I pulled up and I counted like six... Wait. One, two... Three... Three white Fords. And... F no. Four white Fords. And three silver Ford F-350s. I'm like, okay, you guys gotta have pay, at least pick a different color. Like, they make a lot of different colors. I don't know why they pick silver or white. Oh, uh, you need to... Yeah, you need to re... Redo the, uh, like, the gear ratios. Yeah. That's the one part about, like, getting an old truck is they're not, like, as tuned to towing as, like, newer trucks. But I guess you can change that. I don't know. I I, I don't like towing with, like, my own vehicle because it's just, like, putting wear on my vehicle. Oh, the quicksand taco? Nice. That's cool. Um, I know a guy who has a first-end Tundra. And it's like a, it, it's like a, 
I, he doesn't even know what color it is. It's like gray, but it's got like a purple pinkish like tint to it, or like a pearlescent tint. It's weird, but it's dope. It's like a it's like a grayish brown almost. Oh really? They have shit gearing. 2020. That's a good year. Well, one of my friends just bought a 23 Tacoma before they uh, released the new ones. It was the last, like last, one of like the last years or whatever it was months. But he, uh, he got it new, and he was like, "I get, I got it specifically because this was the last Tacoma made." Because uh, he had a deer with his old Forerunner. And that thing was like on his last leg. That thing was so old. And he, he got a new Tacoma and that thing is sick. It's so it's so fancy. I love it. I just I don't like new cars in general though. Like the oldest car I'll get is like 2015, 16. Anything above that, I just I don't trust. I don't like new cars. That's probably what people said about cars. 20 years ago, but I just don't. Yeah, I, I heard about that. Toyota's reputation's kind of meh. Especially with the... The Tundras. The new Tundras getting recalled because they had metal... They had factory, like, debris in the engines, and they were just causing the engines to fail. Imagine buying a Toyota, and the engine fails in the first few, like, months of having it. And you have to get a new engine put in it. That's crazy. I heard they got a little better though. Like they, uh, they fixed it. But I just, yeah, I don't like new cars. The new Sequoias look cool. But I don't know. I just like the older ones. fire damage. Doing fire damage on fire enemies. Smart. Oh yeah, and all the new Toyotas are like hybrid now. I don't mind hybrids, but they're a lot more expensive to fix. Now I'm thinking about it. Yeah, 20, 2015, 2016, because that's the last year that the, uh, the Honda CRZs were made. I think it was 2015, and that was a hybrid. That was a good hybrid. Yeah, Toyota V6s are really good. I like the high forces, but they they fucking drink gas. I guess my car does too, but not that much. I get like 22, 24. High forces get like 10. <laughs> I don't know. I've been looking at for like something to tow with or like a truck. I've been looking at the uh I've been looking at a uh, second gen uh Chevy Tahoes. Cuz I I love I love LSs. LS engines are so amazing. And that's pr probably why GM is still in business.
I know, I know the diesel's the best, but like, I don't know. I'm not. Well, there's two sides to it. There's there's pros and cons of each. And I don't need a pickup. I don't need something that big. I'm not towing. I'm not towing like I'm not towing goosenecks. Hell no. I'm towing like small generators and small light towers and small like stuff that's like half the size of a car. Like, like small trailer shit. I don't know what I forget the name of what they're called, but definitely not at that level of towing. That level of towing, yes, you would need a diesel or a 70 Godzilla, which is a ridiculous engine. Someone tried to tell me that, like, the Godzilla engines, like the new diesel, like you don't need a diesel in a mirror, you just need a you just need a Godzilla. Yeah, light towing. No, not not. Yeah, if I was going that, I would get a diesel, but. I don't want a diesel because it's expensive and it's expensive and it's expensive to repair. And I don't want to, I don't know shit about diesel engines to fix them. I don't want to do that. If a diesel engine goes out, you just replace the engine. You don't fix it. <laughs> but they last forever. So it's like very, um, uh, they're very mechanically like complex five tons that's crazy so that's okay that's that's crazy heavy <laughs> one time we had someone with a f450 dually and my, my boss is crazy because he like you can't tell him the limit of something because you'll try to go above that and one of my one of my coworkers came in with his, his 450 dually and he came in with his trailer, a gooseneck trailer. And my boss just goes, so how much is this thing rated for? And he's like, oh, it could probably go up to like 20,000. He's like, okay, okay. And he keeps piling stuff on there and he like keeps going and he doesn't stop. Like I literally have a picture. Like it was almost twice the height of the truck. And we're like, dude, okay, we like that's good. He's like, he said twenty. I'm gonna go to twenty. And I'm like, no, <laughs> you're gonna kill him and his truck. Oh man, that was hilarious. The the, the ratchet straps were like barely made it over. That was stupid. I don't know why he let him do that. <laughs> he was like, can you pay for my gas? He's like, no. <laughs> I was I was insane to watch because I was like, dude, I'm gonna be surprised if this thing goes like, I'm surprised if the thing leaves the gate, and it did, but it was screaming out of first gear just to move. If I had to tow that much, I I would want my gas paid for. There's no way I'm just doing that just because. If it's my own vehicle, at least. Oh, shit, I'm gonna die. A six inch lift? Dang, that's. Yeah, you need really wide tires for that. Or just big tires. I'm. I'm a fan of, like. Four inch lifts for like smaller trucks, medium, smaller, medium trucks. I feel like that's tasteful. It depends on the truck though. I'm thinking like pickups, SUVs and, and those kind of trucks. Yeah, probably four, four big tire, but I drive low rider muscle station wagon. So I wouldn't know. Oh yeah, hell no. Hell no. I don't fuck with the cross member. Oh, this guy's kind of cool. Trash is another one's trash. The risk of the road. It is the good to stay safe. So this guy is attack speed, movement speed. 
I'm actually curious. I think I have a... I think I actually had a guide up not too long ago that told, uh, told me. Oh yeah, it's right here. Sweet. So... Lightning strike. Yeah, this doesn't really tell me. Yeah, this doesn't tell me anything. Area regeneration. Okay, so this tells me. Okay, I kind of get it now. Wind crown? I don't have that. Blood soaked shirt, quick hand gloves. Do I have those? I do. Nice. Yeah, get get that get that done before it gets cold. I hate washing my car in the cold because it doesn't like looks weird when it dries. Man, I should have done that before winter started. Oh well. I I removed the side trim of my car because it looks ugly and I don't want to like scratch underneath or like rust. That's like the worst. So I peeled it off, which was really easy. But now the adhesive is like just stuck on there. And my car kinda looks a little ugly right now. But I'm just kind of like waiting for it to like dry up a little bit so I can peel it off easier. Um, it won't stain. It's it's not like a staining adhesive, but gasoline. I've thought about that, but I don't want to rub that on my paint. I guess I could do it and then wash off the car. But I don't know. I, was, I, I know that that shit can mess up like paint and clear coat too, so I don't want to rub that on my car's paint. I did Goo Gone, and that actually worked, but it took forever. I guess I could do it quickly, like just rub it off and then at least I, I'll test it on like a little spot of it. I, there's already a spot on one of my doors that has a pretty big scratch on it. So let's try it there. It just looks messed up. It says Ring of Fire is good with this. So copper ring. Oh, I actually have that. Okay. Elven slippers. Wind crown. I thought I had a wind crown. Base block strength. If I just do that, then. Bye. Let's try that again. I could actually 50% spawn rate. Oh. 5% XP drops. Honestly, the morning star kind of worked pretty well. Fire elemental, physical melee. Are you driving? Are you? Are you driving right now? Are you? Uh, did you? Did you drive today? Four a.m. That's fucked. Respect the grind, though. Oh. 
Holy shit. All day? Nice. Working all day is like good when you get in the flow of it and you like don't have anything else going on. At least in my opinion. Like when the season first hits and you can like prepare mentally and you uh you just work like crazy for a couple weeks and then kinda get like a little break, that's nice. It's nice to have like a lot of uptime and then a lot of downtime. What really messes me up is uptime, down to uptime, down, up, 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 down, down, up. Which usually happens, but it makes you appreciate the steady times more. So there's that. I don't know. It's a chaotic. Jobs are chaotic. No matter what job, it can get chaotic. Why does it say base health? Frost chance, I, I guess. I need to go to bed soon too. I've been... I've been really wanting a better bed because mine is starting to like not be good anymore, which kind of sucks because like it did, it did its job, but the, the futon I had before was so, so nice. I had it for like almost a decade. That was the best futon I've ever had. It never was uncomfortable to sleep on. It was amazing. And my roommates fucking had to break it one day. Two giant football players decided to wrestle on my futon and snapped both legs off on the rear of it. Rest in peace, futon. We tried to fix it, but it like it like it like fucked up the whole futon. Like the bottom like corner was gone. Oh, that's right. You're playing the the ring fit thing. I guess with like doing. Driving too, you don't get a lot of exercise. You need like you need like one of those like one of those exercise things that you put in between your legs and you like you do like um I don't know what those are called, but But that would be like kinda weird to drive with that, unless you're on like cruise control. Oh, I see. I kind of like my job for that reason. Is like, yeah, the work is really physically... Physically, like draining and it's very labor intensive but when you get to like drive it's like okay you know i'm driving I'm still like you know getting paid go like exercise for a little bit that's nice but you know when you work like 
when you work like a 17 hour shift and you're driving home you're like which is crazy I, every year i've been my record for a shift for a uh for hours and i don't fucking i don't know why that keeps happening but somehow i get <laughs> somehow i work three shifts in one day Or I guess two full-time shifts. You want to look like me? I don't know about that. Yeah, I don't. I don't. You want to look like me? You don't, you don't want this. You don't want this rat tail. Why? Why does this keep happening? Dude, this only happens when I switch from camera to display. So I will just not touch the camera button anymore. Because I was actually popping off right there. I only got time for one more round. Stupid game. So I should do lightning strike, I guess. I think is what the thing told me. Oh, this tonight I got some dominoes for dinner, which has been a long time since I've had dominoes. So that was pretty good. Yeah, do a Jedi tail. Join, join me, join me. I guess that this, I think, I guess that's what this kind of is, isn't it? It's like a, it's like Anakin's cut in a, like the second movie in episode two. Well, it's not that, not that like much or that small, but. I don't even know what my hair is right now, but it's part of the process. Hell yeah. Rat tails are cool. And you know what? Jedi tail sounds way cooler, so I'm gonna call it that now. You were the chosen one! Oh yeah, Joe! You lot had long hair too? Hell yeah. I like long hair. I, I like long hair, but I don't like long hair in my face. So I cut the hair that's in my face off. Yeah. My hair's too thick anyways. It does... Oh, I did it again. Damn it. Okay, I'm moving the I'm moving the freaking stream deck up there because I keep touching it. I don't know why that happens. That's such a random bug. Oh, by the way, if you press if you press a uh, display capture on your stream deck, the game will crash. All right, back here.
Oh, you have like a stream setup? Speaking of that, I need to get a new capture card for when the new Pokemon and Metroid comes out. Oh, do this come out at the same time? I'm never going to financially recover. Like how Silent Hill and Sparking Zero came out at the same time. And they're both early access. I only got early access for Silent Hill because early access for Dragon Ball was like $100. Like, dude, I can wait like three days to save $30. You're already charging me $70 nowadays for video games. Which I don't know why that happened. But it did. Dream deck, microphone, and the Elgato. Okay. Dude, my I like Elgatos, but I don't know what's with what happened to mine, but I've heard that Elgatos just like to break. Because mine just stopped working one day, and it was really annoying because it was expensive. Elgatos are really expensive. And it just decided to not work one day, and apparently that's just a common issue. They just sometimes just won't work. And they just will die. And all I got to play was Metroid Dread and Animal Crossing on stream, and it just fucking died. So ridiculous. Still going? Jeez. Dude, mine sat on my desk and didn't... Was treated very carefully and just decided to stop working one day. I only had it for like a year! I'm clumsy too. I'm very clumsy. I'm clumsy like just walking. Why did this scroll all the way down? Lightning Infinity Ability Transfiction. Well, I don't have that, so... I guess Frost Avalanche? Mediocre Direct Damage, actually. defense refills potions for every eight health potions collected 
Eh, I don't know about that. I don't know about either of those, honestly. cooking. Do this multi strike though. <laughs> Max speed, basement speed. Explosive strikes, concentrated strikes. Let's do that one. Ouch. Okay, do not touch the camera button. This is this this is decent. This would be perfect I can get one run in. playing so um i'm playing uh hades oh dude i'm about to m mess everyone up <laughs> holy shit Oh my god. Oh my god. of torture um it's this game yes it's fun i've been enjoying it i've been enjoying it more uh this time than when i last played it which was like almost a year ago
Range. Probably range. Shit, I'm actually gonna hit. Probably more crit bonus. I don't know. I'm just trying to get damage. Oh my god, stop getting hit. Oh no. Oh no. Attack speed. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, this game's like uh, Vampire Survivors. That's the game. Which is also a very fun game. Probably... Phantom needles again? This is it physical? Shit! I need that. Thank you. 30 attack speed every level gained with quick hand gloves equipped. Grove. Which is not going to be a lot now, but... I got uh oh oh my god okay Actually, it wasn't as much as I thought. Arcane Rift, Touching Rift, Max Explosion, Clay Golem. Why just Clay Golem? I could try the Radiant Aura, but I feel like Clay Golem would be better. He's a homie. I have the urge to eat. I mean, hey. Gotta eat. Gotta eat, gotta eat. I just ate. I didn't eat for a long time today, and I got some food when I got home. I had lunch, but like, it was a small lunch, and then I got home, and I freaking devoured some Domino's. Not even that hungry. Cheat.
I get that way sometimes too. Like I'll just be bored, so I'll just like eat. So I'm like, hmm, okay. Especially if I'm like home a lot. I'm just like, which is kind of funny to think about because that's actually how our brains work. Like we just want to be stimulated so we can, we'll just eat food. Like, it's dumb. Like I don't need to eat. Killed your calorie limit like you. Um, oh, I see what you mean. Mm. That's fine. Some some days are a struggle, but um, if you're getting better, then that's most than what a lot of people have done. So as long as you you think you're getting better, and you see progress, because there's progress, so there's just gonna be more progress. It's fine to have days of struggle. <laughs> Those are called cheat days. I guess this. A multi strike. Huh, interesting. Olivia's bottle. It's not available potions of oblivion. Sure. I have the extra bucket. My attack speed is insane. Or boss peers regenerate holy relic. Why does this keep switching on me? There we go. What do I need for this trait? Popper fire, wind crown, collar of confidence. Um, maybe it takes thirty six charge.
Oh, this actually isn't that good. Because I've gotten 14 levels, so 14... I've only gotten 4% more. It's actually not that good. There you go. That's a lot. 10 pounds is a lot. Like, when you actually see that, like, as, like, an amount, like, that's, that's, that's a lot. Good job. Holy relic. What is, is this? Is this a ring? I don't know. Oh, shit. I just took a lot of damage. Oh my god, I'm getting dead. Ah! Oh yeah, give me the health, give me the health. Holy fuck. Furby, uh, is are kind of okay. If I just do the crit, maybe? Yeah, it's just the two of us. Well, that's usually what happens when I start really late. It's just me. That's fine. That's okay if you pass out. I'm about to pass out, too, in a little bit. Actually, sh should be passing out a little bit. Because I need to go to bed. I think what affects my sleep is if I eat too late. Like if I eat like past eight or something, it feels like I just I'm dead in the morning. Oh, God. I guess def defense? Burn chance. Chance. Burn. Oh, shit. I need that. Alms or health? I'm just going to take the health so I'm stocked up. Ugh.
Only five minutes left. How did I miss a thing? Oblivious? I just got one of those. Attack speed. Dude, my character's so cracked right now. Smacked around though. Oh, holy shit. Are they even dying or are they just tanking it? all my hits? I'm just seeing numbers. I don't know how much 200 gold is. Oh, that's how much 200 gold is. I don't have a lot of gold, so I might actually take that. Might as well get this spell down here. That was a good idea. Oh, crypt bonus. Oh, I have two crypt bonus. What was the one I had before? Oh, shit. Why? No. What? I wanted to switch with that one. Oh, my God. So if I go like this and go like that, that's... Oh, my God. Okay. Well, now I'm, like, considering going to the Seal of Rebirth in case I get messed up. But, whatever. If I'm about to die, I'll switch out for the Ring of Rebirth, which might actually be soon. Okay, okay. Just gotta lock in. Just gotta lock in. What do you mean this doesn't look like Hades? This is literally the same thing as Hades, the exact same thing. Now you might be looking at a different game then, I don't know what to tell you. Home suck. Oh my god. I'm getting so many reach burning in two plus, okay.
E. E. What's that noise? There's way too many. S oh, fuck, dude. Way too many projectiles on the screen right now. Oh my god. Might have to go some defense. This has items and doors. And you just can't see them. Jeez. Even with the multiply damage, I don't see any difference. Oh my god, there's so many enemies. Oh fuck, no, 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 no! No, I want to switch. Okay. Actually, wait, I have the tomb still, don't I? Or did I die once? Oh, fuck, I don't remember, because the game crashed like three times. My bit rate's tanking? Never. In this PC? Dude, this is an old PC. I keep forgetting how old it is, and I might have started budgeting for a new one. Um, it's an Alienware case, and it's got a 2070 in it. And an i9? Or no, I think it's a Ryzen 7. I think my last one was an i9. I can't remember. Oh my god, dude, there's so many. Uh, it is a pre-built, because I got it for a smoking deal. Dude, no way. No way. No fucking way. Can't just spawn me right back into... Whatever. Where's the goddamn hand? It, it's it's not Dell. It's a uh, Alienware. No, it's okay. I do this all the time. It helps me focus. Hey, and where is Dell? Oh. You see, I don't know. Dude, I'm not a I'm not a big like PC builder. I don't know the I don't know which brand is which or whatever. I don't build, I don't, I don't build PCs. I don't really have the... Oh, nice. But that was fun. I 
I know that building PCs is like better and it's cheaper and you know you can do what you want with it but like what I'm doing I don't really need to go that that much out yeah I mean I know like I know like the parts and the basics I just don't want to build it <laughs> I've gotten a lot of shit for getting pre built but um no this one was actually a really good deal it was like honestly i got this right before covid hit and uh prices were starting to prices were skyrocketing for parts like this is when this is when graphics cards were like fucking three grand or something like something stupid and, uh, no, I got this one for a good deal because it was a, I think it was, was it used? Or no, it was new, but it, uh, it wasn't selling for a while. Like, they just had it, had it around for a while, so, I don't know, I got it. Yeah, yeah, exactly, like, I'll, if I, if prices for PCs are so bad, I'll build it. But this one was such a, like, on it was such a good deal, and it was on sale, that I was like, yeah, might as well. It's gonna cost me the same either way. Guy's getting decimated. Look at my attack speed. Magma vessel. Ooh. Oh shit. That sucks. Dang. Well, at least now you know. Um, yeah, my graphics card in my old PC was a uh it was a 580. It was a Radeon 580 and it just stopped working. Well, I don't know. My my brother wanted to put a new graphics card in it. He was a big computer nerd. He had a pre-built or not a pre-built. He built PCs. He actually built one and sold it to my friend. Um, and his PC is still running to this day. Um, I forget what he put in. It was a Radeon. I know that. But my brother put... He swapped out... Like I was at school one day and he called me. He's like, hey, do you mind if I put a Radeon 580 in your computer? I'm like, sure, I don't care. And he did, and it worked. But I don't know what the fuck he did. But my files got like all mixed up and like some of them were deleted like my personal files and i was like okay and then uh the fucking graphics card died like a year later so i was like dude you fucked up my computer i don't know what he did but it's okay because i uh i got this one instead A770, 16 gigabytes. Yeah. Isn't the norm now like 32 gigs? I, I think I have 16 gigs. Do I have 32? No, my laptop has 32. Because it's crazy like that. Yeah, I have 16 gigs. It's not... Dude, I know people are putting like 128 gigs in their fucking PC. I'm like, how and why? Hello, no go. No Take a look. Thirty-seven to twelve gigs. Oh. Godspeed. How can I take good care of yourself? Welcome. 
Can I just buy all of these? Oh, that's why I'm... Yeah, that's what I mean. Sorry. I meant RAM. Giga... How much, how much dedicated wham? Gigabytes. Wham. Again, I'm not very... Like, I know the basics of PC parts, but I'm not, like, a builder by any means. Uh, sure. I'll check it out. Look how your wine bottle. Easy That's money. Good. Nice. Hey, yeah, this character's broken. Fancy. The white claws really add to it. Yeah, that's that that's that's crazy looking. That's really cool. Yeah, mine doesn't have that uh that much RGB. I think if I if I spend more time on my computer, I would put more time and effort into it, but I'm like, I only go on my computer to stream. Oh, I see. <laughs> Funny dog. That's James. What's up, James? Oh, oh alright. I need to go to bed now. I still have to cut my hair. Alright. Well. That's it for tonight. A little something. Um, tomorrow. Tomorrow's Tuesday. Tomorrow I'll probably I'll probably stream. Probably. I'll try. Thank you, Rhino. Unfortunately, the the demons get to control my dreams. I appreciate that. Hopefully, I I appear as a uh, as a <laughs> Jesus. Somehow, some, somehow the the hair grew back. Um, yeah, I'll, I will probably be streaming tomorrow. I might take a little break, though, uh, for tomorrow. Because Wednesday, I, I got, I got, a, <laughs> I got an appointment for my car. It's funny saying an appointment, but, um, I schedule, I had to schedule an appointment two months in advance to get some transmission and engine updates. Not engine, ECU updates. Transmission and ECU updates. I have to update... I have to update my 20-year-old car. Because if you look up 05 Dodge Magnum uh, common problems, first one is transmission needs to be updated. The values, the codes, 
they all need to be updated. ECU also needs updates because sometimes lights can flicker. Uh, idle can be weird. I have both of those. It's not that bad, but it's noticeable. I know they're going to fuck it up faster. Well, they can't because it's it's an update. And I will... I'm going to... I Dude, I hate dealers. I fucking hate dealers. I'm going to, like, triple check with them. I'm going to be like... It, it got updated, right? Like, I'm literally only here just to get these updates because you fuckers put a paywall behind my car's... My 20-year-old car to get some um, fucking code updates. Because I want to see if that'll improve anything. I'm going to ask them, like, do, oh, uh, like, did the update, like, work? Did it go through? Because I'm not fucking dropping 150 bucks or something on some... On a button click. My manager used to work at Dodge and did that exact same... He worked in the service department. Did the exact same thing. He's like, literally, you flash it and you click update. And I'm like, yep, sounds about right. You're gonna take two days? Well, you fucking better not. I'm gonna... I will... Like... Dude, dealers are so scummy that I don't, I don't, if they're going to take that long to press a button, I'm going to be like, just give my damn car back. <laughs> I don't care anymore. Not taking the whole, not taking the whole day. Um, I was going to put my new shocks on. I was like, oh, while it's in there, should I get a, like, should I just put my shocks on before and then get like an alignment while I'm there? I'm like, no, they're going to fuck it up. Awful. Dealers are so, like, I, I'm, I like, I, I don't I don't mind salesmen like you know they could be nice people but like just the sales process and just dealers are s the upmarket and it's just oh my god it's so scummy what car are they give me to buy they're gonna try to give me into like a brand new Wrangler or something I'm gonna be like dude my 20 year old <laughs> my 20 year old Dodge is more reliable than this shit All right, you know what? Brand new 2024 Chrysler 300 Hemi, all-wheel drive, full trade-in. I won't accept anything else. I'll do it. 80K down the drain. Yeah, I can buy like three of my cars. Actually, no. I can buy like eight of my cars with that. <laughs> um, but I, I'm actually curious, how much does a... Because I know they stopped making the 300s, which I love the 300s, man. I'm, I'm sad they got rid of them. Too much? Yeah, you're right. Every new car costs too much. Let's look up 2023 300 Hemi all-wheel drive, because they brought back the Hemi in, in the 300s for the last models. Don't even look. No, I want to know. I I used to own a 300. I I know I'm I know this ball game. Oh, they put the. That's right. They put the they put the six four Hemi. They didn't put the five seven Hemi. They put the six four. Hemi in the brand new Chrysler's four eighty five horsepower. Shit, they got me. <laughs> okay, now real question is. What's the price? And how available is an all-wheel drive Hemi? Finding an all-wheel drive 300 is rare. Finding a Hemi 300 is rare. Finding both in one is the golden ticket. 12 miles a gallon? Well, I think they have MDS. I think... I don't know if the 6.4 does. I know the 5.7 does. I don't know if the 6.1 Hemi does, but... Uh, it might have MDS, so it might be a little better. I don't know... I, I, either way, I'm turning M MDS off. So yeah, you're probably right. Mine gets like, my Hemi gets like 24 miles a gallon with MDS, and like 18 without MDS. Because my Hemi's good. Yeah, I, I have, I've heard of that too. Um, I remember watching a video because I was curious, like, oh, yearly ownership um, of a Hellcat. And it was like $18,000 a year for gas. I was like... Okay, this fucking... Just show me... See, I can't even find it. I can't even find all-wheel drive Hemi.
Well, we're looking good already because the 2023 V6 300 is 50 grand MSRP. That's MSRP, not a clean demon markup. Really, 13 miles for a V6, I'm surprised. That means it can get up, though. 16 is not bad. It's not a four banger, but it's not bad. Dude, the new, the, the last year, the 300 looks so clean. Sucks that they're not making them anymore. Okay, let me filter this correctly. Um, so we want a Mustang. Mustang would be cool. What a, like just a 5.0. Okay, I forget that this site doesn't let you. And not find any new Chryslers. Why? I'm getting distracted, dude. That's a good year. I like I like the last gen. I like the I don't know what year. I think it was 2018 that Ford put like the different front end on the I don't know which gen the last Mustangs were. But the new front end, like the new headlights, I did not like it. The 2015 to like whenever they change that, that's good. But I don't like the new front ends. Um. Yeah, it's too like smooth looking. Like I, I wouldn't mind if it was like another car, but yeah, the the I do really like the new Mustangs. People are shitting on the new Dark Horse. Like, look, I love the new look of the Mustangs. It's the car community. People are going to complain regardless. Okay. Um, here's a 2023 300 with the Hemi for actually cheaper. It's cheaper than the V6 trim. It's 48 grand. Or no, 49 grand. The V6 was like 52 grand. What the fuck? Oh, now that now it's saying that this 300 is 40 grand for a V6. What the fuck? Make up your mind, Dodge, or Chrysler, or Mercedes, or Fiat, or whoever the fuck it is. After financing, I guess so. Wait, what the fuck? Okay, I think the first one I looked at was just Mark. Oh, it might have just been marked the hell up by the dealership. Cause yeah, Chrysler's earned that expensive dude they look so good why didn't they just put hemis in all of these man the one i'm looking at actually looks like my old chrysler another hemi for 44 you know what for 2023 that's actually not as bad as i thought people shit on the 300 because of the the three three six v6 Get you a hammy. Oh man. Alright. Now I'm going to bed. I'm don't no one talk about cars anymore. I will spend five hours looking at marketplace now. Alright. Well everyone, good night. Um I might be on tomorrow, but I don't expect it. Um I might take a little day off. Uh I might put my new shocks on tomorrow because I have to go to the. Uh, but I have to, I have to get it aligned. I don't know. I'll figure it out. Anyways, um, I'll see you guys later. All right, night night.